I'm Carol Burnett, and I've got a secret. I've got a secret. Brought to you tonight by... New, richer-tasting Dream Whip. The light, fluffy dessert topping that won't wilt. Now, from the fabulous Harris Club in beautiful Lake Tahoe, Nevada, here is I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you. Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> very nice of you. Thank you so much. Greetings, friends, and we are bringing a very special edition of I've Got a Secret to you from the fabulous Harris Club in Lake Tahoe. We've been here about three days now rehearsing our two shows. And if you've never been to Harris Club in Lake Tahoe, I'm not even gonna try to explain it to you. It's like Disneyland with slot machines. That's the only thing I can tell you. But boy, oh fun. I want you to meet some of the folks who've been sharing our fun up here. First of all, the best bet I know anything about, Miss Betsy Palmer. <laughs> Sitting in for the vacationing Bess Myers, old home week. Here is the lovely Jane Meadows. <laughs> and sitting in for the vacationing Bill Cullen is the nut of the world, Alan King. <laughs> and then, of course, here is our own two armed bandit, Mr. Henry Morgan. All right, final, I presume you were all ready to play the game? Yes. All right, may we have our first contestant, please? Uh, Would you come in? <laughs> Will you tell our panel, please, what your name is and where you're from? My name is Dick Sorion. I'm from Sacramento, California. Mr. Sorion. Now, Mr. Sorion, you have a secret. If you whisper it to me, we'll show it to the audience at home. And here we go. <laughs> wait, wait. There's more to it. You must be kidding. All right. Panel, the clue concerns something he has backstage, and we'll start the questioning with Betsy, please. Uh, Mr. Sarine, is this something you brought with you from Sac uh, Sacramento? That is right. Mm -hmm. uh, is it something alive? Yes. Does it have more than two legs? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, you can see Jane getting scared already because the minute you start bringing out snakes and things, you know, she leaves the, not only leaves the stage, she leaves the county. <laughs> Does it have more than four legs? Yes. Well, that's interesting. Uh, All right, that's $20 down, $60 to go, and we go to Alan King, please. Whatever it is, I saw it early this morning. <laughs> uh, 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 is it something that uh, could travel by itself? Under it its own power? It could, it could. It could. Uh, would it be... Uh, Let's say that in this case it didn't, but that's immaterial. Yes, it could, it could. I, I would like to get to that. Do you, uh, did you uh, transport it here by, say, a uh, truck or car, a mobile? Uh, yes. And uh, is it something that is... Uh, ask if it's furry? Ask if it's furry? <laughs> no, the thing I saw wasn't furry. <laughs> it was hairy. Is it hairy? <laughs> Some of them are. Some, some of them. <laughs> some of them. Oh, then there's more than one. Yes. Uh, All right, there's $40 down, $40 to go. We go, please, to Jane Meadows. Mr. Ryan, this thing that you unfortunately have backstage <laughs> and that has more than four legs, is it so large that it needs a truck? Yes. More than one, even. What has more than four legs that's enormous? And flies. <laughs> Six it's, legs. And flies. Does it, have, um, <laughs> does it have more than, let's say, six or eight legs? Yes. Take an odd number, like nine. Does it, does it have uh, hundreds of legs? Uh, almost. 
In excess of a hundred. I, is this um, the panel is something that's going to hate that, me when this is, is over? Is this something that's poisonous? <laughs> <laughs> With all those legs, it's bound to. Not be. to our knowledge. No, we, we think not. Good. Maybe it's labeled. Is this is this in the animal family? They're animals, yes. Oh. In the great broad animal family. Yes. And you have lots of them out there. Yes. All right, we've lost sixty dollars and twenty dollars to go. We go, please, to Henry Morgan. I'm still amazed by Alan's terrible memory. <laughs> that thing he saw this morning was me. <laughs> it occurred to me that this thing might have an odd number of legs, like 105. <laughs> no, huh? By the way, are, 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 we didn't cover this. Is it people? Yes, it is people. And they're furry? <laughs> oh, hairy, hairy people. Hairy, hairy people. <laughs> you know, maybe Did you, uh, by any chance, win them here at Hara? <laughs> <laughs> it's about the only thing you can't win, you know. Did, uh, um, are they related to you? No, they are not. Are they all... A all right, now, pal, we have lost the $80. I'm sorry that I led you down the garden path. There are about more than two legs, but it is an organization. A group of folks, and a group of folks has more than two legs. Now, Mr. Mr. Sarayan is a band leader. He has his band backstage. Dick plays the banjo, and everyone in the rhythm section plays the banjo. The harmony is played by banjos, and just to round things out, the melody instruments are also banjos. In fact, everybody plays the banjo. Um, now, how, um, how did this lovely organization of yours get started? Well, about three years ago on St. Valentine's Day, we organized with about 20 banjo players. Uh, we figured we had to do something so we could play our banjos. Nobody wanted to listen to them. So we organized a group called the Sacramento Banjo Band, and it is uh, now 110 members. And it's largely, uh, the, the work that you do is for charities. You, you go around and raise money for folks, yes, right? Yes, we keep uh, music and teachers and musical therapists going to handicapped and, and crippled children, and uh, we do this little thing. Well, now, we'd like to hear a selection from you and the boys, so if you'll join me center stage, we'll have a small combo from the big band just to get us started. Hello, friends. These are folks of all ages. I figure he's about two. <laughs> how old are you, son? Twelve. Uh, Twelve years old. All right, I'm going to get out of your way and let you play. This is a sound like you have never heard in your life, and the, t uh, the title of the tune is... Waiting, Waiting for, for the, the Robert, Robert E. Lee. Lee. Go. Thank you all ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. Farewell. And now for a, a taste of local Tahoe color, our talented camera crew will take us to a nearby ski slope. Isn't that beautiful? Smooth and white. <laughs> See all that... Wait a minute, that ain't no snow on a mountaintop. That's Dream Whip on a pudding top, which is a sneakier way to get into a commercial, as I know. I mean, it's quite a trick, too, but then so is this smooth, creamy dessert topping. You whip it up with milk and vanilla, and in just a few minutes, you will have two cups of topping, enough to decorate puddings, pies, or cakes for your whole family. And you know, Dream Whip will not wilt, it won't separate. You can whip it up before dinner, and you can avoid all that last-minute rush. 
It stays fresh and it stays fluffy. But of course, best, the best thing about Dream Whip is this. A new, richer flavor. The creamiest, freshest new flavor that you've ever whipped up. And yet it only has 14 calories. 14 per tablespoon serving. So you remember Dream Whip. Get some real soon. Now, panel, our next contestants are three gentlemen who live right here in Lake Tahoe. They are by name Fred Gallo, one of the owners of the Lake Tahoe Country Club, Jim Smith, a building contractor, and Joe Seidel, who is the assistant manager of a local real estate concern. Now, they have gotten together recently and formed a trio. Now, they have a secret for you to guess, but before that, let's hear a song from them. Here, then, are the Ski Larks, as they call themselves, accompanied by Norman Paris in the rhythm section. to me, we'll show it to the audience at home. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, panel, a clue concerns something about this trio. We'll start the game with Jane Meadows, please. Well, it's obviously something very funny about this trio. <laughs> Is this something to do with you in relationship to each other? Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, not, not that they're relatives, but in other words, they accomplished this as a group. I see. Then it's something that you did. Would that be right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't something they, it ain't something they did. Maybe. Is it something that you're going to do? No, it ain't. Is it something that maybe happened to you? It happened. Did this thing happen? I know I'm being terribly vague, but uh, this particular uh, the secret is very difficult to handle. But carry on. Um, uh, is this something that uh, possibly uh, happened to you, and yet there's more to the secret? It happened to you in relationship to maybe a lot of other people? Right. Some other, some other people. $20 down, $60 to go. We go to Henry Morgan. Good morning, Henry. <laughs> I was skiing late last night. <laughs> That's funny. I thought you were flying. <laughs> Where were you? I was the one who was with him. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, does your secret have anything to do with your singing teacher? <laughs> no. Well, and I've got a secret. <laughs> no, as we're supposed to say, but seriously, folks, <laughs> you're very good. Um, does, this, does this have to do with um, relatives of yours? No. no. All right, we've lost $40. We have $40 to go, and we go to a very bemused-looking Miss Palmer. Are you something that you're not, really? <laughs> I think we'd have to kind of go along with that, wouldn't we? I would say so. Yeah. I mean, are your names Gallo, Smith, and Seidel? <laughs> oh, oh yes. yes. They are. Um, you had three gentlemen behind you. Uh, yeah. See, uh, Alan and I are feeling, we, we know we have yes, a sneaky yeah. idea. Wow. But... <laughs> Good boy! Good boy! Oh, 